we've done a lot of other sports, baseball and basketball and soccer, but was never really very successful at those. And, and Michael was. I think Matthew always was looking for something that he could be as good as Michael was. Our garage was detached from our house. You could run around it. There's a path around the garage, so we would always race each other around it when we were younger. And I would always beat him every time. Every day, like, going to race, knowing I would win. And then one day we go out there, and he just beats me so badly, and I'm so defeated. I don't understand what's happening. And then every day after that, he just would beat me by so much. And that's when I realized he's really fast. I definitely quickly fell in love with the sport. From then on, you just beat everyone. When Matthew was in sixth grade, he walked up to us and he says, I want to go to the Olympics. He was just all over it. Loved it, never wanted to leave. They had to kick him out. Gosh, that boy would never stop. Matthew wouldn't leave unless we forced him off or just take his shoes off. The coach would say, go home, Matthew. And he did everything. He, he did high jump, long jump, sprinting. And he was, he was the best. He had to hit me in the head maybe two or three times with a two by four. His coach said, he's going to be an All-American. And I said, what? And that's when Coach Collier said, look, I'll tell you, Texas state competition is some of the toughest track and field competition in the country. If Matthew can be up on that podium, he's got a good shot of making it to the Olympics. The crowds were filled, but I used it as motivation. I'll give him a good race. <laughs> you got the baton about 30 meters behind, and you're talking about against the fastest 4x4 team in the United States. You got the, the confidence to go out fast, and that's what happened. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. But what has really gotten him his attention is the popularity of the 100 meters. It's that event in track and field that everybody follows, you know, your Carl Lewis's and your same Bolts. I always do best at regionals. I don't know why, maybe it's just because I'm hyped. And I was extremely hyped that day. I'm getting ready to video because I always am the man behind the little video thing and I do a crappy job. And I'm going through and I, you know, I do it. Hey, actually, it's a pretty good job. And I just remember running through the line like I gave it all I had. And I go through and then, and then I zoom in on that deal up there and it goes 9.98. And I was just like, oh my God. Now, historically, there are not many people, many athletes that have done that. Uh, Matt is under a tremendous amount of pressure, obviously, being at the level he's at. To become the world's fastest human, you gotta be almost perfect. Did I have any clue of what he was capable of? I'd say the answer to that is absolutely not. Three blows to the head's enough for me, and I'm not gonna take it fourth. He will go down in history as one of the great track and field high school athletes of all time. He did climb the mountaintop as far as high school. But when you look at track and field, when you get to the higher levels here, it is very small tenths and hundredths of a second. Let's move on. For Matthew, the pursuit of success is all consuming, all day, every day. I like looking up the track before, seeing what it looks like, and imagining myself running on it. Imagining myself beating everybody. Like, that's where it all starts. Because if you're not imagining it off the track, like, it's not going to happen when you get there. I'm just 
a perfectionist with everything. He just has to have everything under control. Once he feels like everything's under control, everything else, he can just block it out. And it's just, he's just laser focused. He knows that he has quite a challenge ahead of him to get ready in, you know, one season to qualify for the Olympics. There's only three men in the United States that will make that team. That would be like saying only three quarterbacks will make the NFL. It is the elite of the elite to be an Olympian. You know, but being a state champion in, in three events in the state of Texas is, is a pretty good start. I wouldn't bet against him. I am obsessed with success. I always want to do my best, even at practice. If I do one bad thing, I won't leave practice until I fix it. You need to set your goals high because you'll never know how far you can go if you don't push. Why not set them as high as possible and go beyond? We're talking about being the 1% of elite track and field, and these guys are ultra competitive, so they're not going to let a guy from Houston, Texas, that came out of nowhere, beat them. There's people that are running 9-7. Christian Coleman ran 9-7. There's people that are better than me. I need to get better. I'm not going to stop until I reach to be the best. He's made a believer out of me. If he says, Dad, I'm going to be in the 2020 Olympics, I'm buying the ticket. I've learned my lesson. Do not doubt this kid. This kid is going to make it happen.